All right, first little little job right here. It's just uh, mulch. Maybe we'll put some right there too. But uh, yeah, so I got the mulch Ooh. in the trailer. It's the company that told on me. But uh, yeah, so it's actually, it's raining now. Awesome. So uh, I'm gonna just try to get this done as fast as possible. So I'll show you when it's All right, done. so we lucked out, well, I lucked out. Um, the rain held off, nothing. You know, I got a little mulch left, nothing crazy. I filled just all the way around this bed. And then um, this one too. So this one came out great, um, looks really nice. And I just trimmed up uh, this tree and that tree uh, just a little bit. And then, you know, this one's fine. So pretty good job. Uh, my next two jobs of the day, uh, well, three things of the day. I have a, a quote down south a little bit, maybe about seven minutes away. Um, and I guess that's just to haul off some stuff or whatever. Um, you know, we just did that other job yesterday, a trash job. And then, uh, oh, I got to till, just till up a little area and rake it flat. Um, just in a lady's yard, say like a 15 by 15 area. Um, it will probably take under an hour. Uh, not a big deal there. And then, um, I went to the pressure wash store this morning and I got, oh my goodness, is it not in here? Yeah, I got some more, some more bark. Um, so this stuff seemed to seem to work so uh you know uh we'll give it a try on a driveway in in this neighborhood uh i am doing it for free i will let you guys know it's where i broke a window so um you know i'm not getting paid on it uh the lady offered to pay i really just wanted the picture uh you know like the before and after pictures and uh it was just quicker to get them that way than waiting for somebody to like call or something you know um for a driveway cleaning like that but um i would have probably charged like somewhere around 225 ish for this driveway but um anyway let's get back all right so this is a little job i had to till just raking it just found a shotgun shell um probably was just you know in the fill or whatever when they built the house but cool so we'll get it done. all right so this was uh the driveway i got this pad done um, the pump sprayer, uh, funny enough, exploded and broke, and so there goes uh, a gallon of chemical. And then, uh, funny enough, this guy started acting up like crazy. Uh, every time I, I, I hit the gun for the surface cleaner, um, it, it makes a, a squealing noise. So I think the belts are too tight, or it the pump has got cockeyed, or maybe the Nah, everything's still tight. I don't know what the deal is. I, I think something's just out of adjustment or too tight type deal. So, uh, I'm gonna get packed up, head home, and, um, get this guy broke down and off the trailer so we can, uh, figure out what we gotta do. Alright, just to wrap up the day, I got everything, um, I just threw it all together really quick. Um, this doesn't really slide around. I, I'm not driving crazy, got the trailer. So, just off the bat, um, you can definitely see a big difference. Um, this this concrete has almost like an orange hue to it and you can see where it's drying it's it's gonna come up uh, you know be like that gray almost uh, and I did do the 50 50 mix so uh, you can see like this area has um, okay so this is very funny this has been cleaned before this is etched extremely uh, I mean, it's not super bad, but it's just, it's different than this. Um, so I, I think they must have used some muriatic acid and then maybe hit it up close with a pressure washer. But, um, you know, this one, there's still uh, a little orange around there. So we'll hit it maybe with a 100% um, mix. And then um, you can just see the, the hue difference or whatever you want to call it. So that's where I got a little overspray right there. Yeah, I'm super, super excited. I think this driveway is gonna turn out great. Um, it looks way better than it does on this video. So, um, yeah, we'll see. But uh, I talked to the, the customer, 